Yo guys, okay. <clears throat> Hello everybody, and welcome back to the channel. You know it's Wolf, and uh, we are back with another video. I saw this on my homepage, and I and I read the title, and then uh, it's it, the title caught me. Title caught me. So I'm gonna see what this is talking about. Does this th yo this thumbnail is <laughs> this thumbnail is wild right here, yo this thumbnail. Ah, but um, that aside, let, let's see, let's see. I'm taking a little bit of break um from the Knox Hill and Screwface uh <laughs> beef situation. So yeah, let's see what he has to say about uh MTR. If we don't know he's a male focused creator content that uh well brings information and disseminate it, disseminate it to another to a male audience, a, a mostly male audience, because there's a few women that watch. So let's go. Mediocre tutorials and reviews is an awesome YouTuber. A YouTuber who was more like and subscribe to the channel and share the video. Share the video. Um, if you enjoy the content, you know I do m many various types of reactions. So yeah. Mediocre tutorials and reviews is an awesome YouTuber. A YouTuber who was more successful and more talented than me. And I remember when I first met him on Solo TV 84 stream. He had about 5,000 subs. I had many more subs than him. And I pretty much thought he was a lame guy. Well, five <laughs> years later, who's the person that's the lame guy? Five years later. Okay, okay. Out of the two of us. He's a nice guy. He never Jokes. took me jabbing at him or talking trash to him personally. We actually remain friends. But MTR had a really great career before YouTube. In fact, he did his undergrad at Penn State got an MBA from a top 50 program and found his way to the Midwest with an awesome job that many Americans can dream of. But stop the show. On the side, he was making reaction channels in his house and slowly but surely, the YouTube money started doing better than the actual company money. And he tried to juggle between these two things for quite some time until it was evident that being a YouTuber and a business owner had a better return on investment than being in corporate America. So bye bye yeah. corporate America. Yeah man, return on investment. That, that's a that's a good move. Um I would do it if I was in the same situation, but you know, I'm starting out. Now MTR is cooking. He's hanging out with Kevin Samuels. He's going over the London with just pearly things. Stop the show, even though that didn't work out. The man <laughs> yeah, is going that. towards one million subscribers, but he's had some trouble along the way. One trouble was a cancer scare in which he beat, but now he's facing a more serious allegation. I'll oh my gosh, is that is this video about that? Uh, I wanted to talk about this situation and how literally scary it is. Like you making true and verifiable information accessible to to men at a very wide volume on, on a public platform and just because that just because you're critiquing the behavior of uh, of women and speaking and speaking truth about uh, various um inconsistencies double standards and the unfairness of uh, legal of the legal system he got put on a list and they literally named it male supremacist so what are feminists female supremacists because they actively preach uh, 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 African rhetoric of women being superior to men in, in, in every way possible. And you know, simple biology, that is not true. So we, persons who critically think and don't really just fall into, you know, they, 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 whatever they are told, know that that is a, a bunch of um, uh, malarkey. You know, um, nonsense. But they wouldn't really fall for that. But a lot of people have fall for, fallen for that message, and it's in turn put a lot more, you know, um, negativity towards men. And all he's doing doing is critiquing, critiquing, being comical in some cases. Uh, you know, drum, uh, um, sensationalizing some of it just for the for, for the entertainment factor. You are speaking truth and people who do not want you to speak the truth see you see that you are a problem and try to get rid of you. 
because they are hindering what they are trying to do. So I didn't expect them to even get a freaking catchphrase for it or a freaking tag or a name for it like that. But it's derivative of white supremacy so that so it has that negative con connotation to it. Okay, um Yago uh we are going to hear what he has to say about this and um what they is dude um I want to hear what the dude making the video is saying about the subject because most of what I just said is are, are the thoughts that I have about it because him in him in in particular, I don't know the dude personally. I just watch the content and from what I can see, he's not radicalizing or sensationalizing our, our people against women. They just he just prevents the legal and uh, the legal and social information and um and uh, tell men to look at the information presented and then think critically and make your decision. Special scare in which he beat, but now he's facing a more serious allegation. I'll let him discuss it and then I'll come back. But this is the discussion that we must have. So what is good old MTR talking about? There is an NGO, a non-government organization called Diverting Hate. Okay. Called Diverting Hate, which is funded by, among others, the Department of Homeland Security. You'll see Government that written tax right dollars, down you know? here. Who, by the way, should be utilizing our tax dollars to protect yeah. or to tighten up our borders, you know, keeping us safe, securing our nation from the very real threats that we are facing. These very <laughs> competent people over that. at Diverting Hate, with the support of the DHS, have, again, put me on a list, crowning me number two male supremacist right up here on YouTube. But here goes the number actual two. list right here. You'll see me. Okay, okay, let's take a look at this list. Because I'm, um, oh, um, Sandman, I don't know who that is. Who that is. Uh, the real MTR, okay, that I uh, know him. Um, Legion of Men, I don't know that. The, the Rational Male, I don't know that. Fashion Flip. This should be at number one. Question for I, I, yo, they do, in my opinion, they do nothing to help man or or push like the 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 um our 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 push the the cause for 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 men's rights and men's issues. You know, they don't really do anything like that. They they say some some stuff that are true, but most of it are sens sensationalized lies and stuff like that to freaking um garner a, 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 a radical audience B based from what i've seen because to, to get people to to freaking to get people to to take your message serious you have to be able to deliver the message palatably so them not being able to do that and uh, some questionable behavior, questionable putting it lightly, fresh and fit. Um, they are not, they are not any by stretch any stretch of the imagination, um, for men's cause because they're in it for the money. Most of from most of what I can see, the money is good, but no, yo, uh, never. Let, let's continue. Um, Rich Cooper channel. Uh. Just barely things. Uh she should be above MTR also. Like she should be so I would have fresh and fit at the top and just barely things a second. Um second call. Uh I don't know that. Uh I don't know Aaron Haley. Ar Arco TV. Arco TV is just um he's not really a freaking male centered channel. He, most of the content he makes fun of, like the, the clips and uh, TikToks that he reacts to, um, just have stupid people being stupid people. And some of the time, <laughs> those stupid people end up being women. And because he's kind of dunking on the stupid behavior that they have, I can see why they included him on this, on this list, but he doesn't really belong there. Uh, I know another creator that does that same uh, like same ish type of content, more social, um, uh, more social uh, commentary type. 
type of content. And uh, that person, that person's channel is not on this. I'm not going to say. And 21 Studio. I don't know who, do, who that is either. So most of who's on this list, I don't know them. And uh, how it is ordered, it doesn't make sense for, for some of these people to be on this list. But I get what why MTR is so high on this list is because he's probably providing valuable information that actually helps men to navigate the legal system to, to better um, vet the women that they are choosing to get into relationships with and are bringing to light um, various, various unfavorable situations that men end up, end up in whenever it comes to the family court system, which is very biased. and um, uh, the social issues that we face when we in the dating market. <laughs> well, let's continue. Up at number two. Now, I know what you're saying to yourself, which is what the hell is male supremacy? They actually have yes. written definitions of exactly what it means. And we're going to go directly through all of that. And truth be told, honestly, I'd be happy to wear number two if I thought that this shit was accurate. 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 So I did watch this video. And the main part that I want to see is what was their description of MTR's YouTube channel. And they actually had an individual write-up specific to me. The real MTR, the real mediocre tutorials and reviews. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you know that they did little to no research on me or they just looked at the titles and the thumbnails and made their decision because yeah. nobody, literally nobody, even the scammers that hit me up on my email that are trying to get me to download something so that they can get into my bank account. Even those guys in Nigerian shit are not calling me the real media tutorials and reviews. Did you guys use a bot to write this? Is a black male <laughs> content creator in his 30s. About to turn 39 in a little while. Your boy still look good, doesn't he? No. Yo, he does. <laughs> Yo, just being honest. You see that? <laughs> 39. Oh man, it, it looked like just a ton. He, he's just about to turn 30. Who engages in reaction videos to viral videos from clips on sports networks to celebrity news? His discussions mainly revolve around demeaning the subject in the video, especially if it pertains to women. Now, what's and they cut it short right there. But they show it right there, but they don't. They don't. They don't add. They don't add every, um, um, the much needed context of when it pertains to women spouting crazy, crazy ideology and outright being misandrous, like man hating. Yeah, that's the opposite of misogyny, you know. Misandry, misogyny, words people don't know the meaning to, but but tend tend to spout them. They leave it at that point when it pertains to women to prove a point. They don't go any further because it wouldn't it would then lead to disprove whatever they're saying. The interesting about that statement right there is that they <laughs> chose to utilize a picture from this video right here. The title of it is right here if you want to take a look at that. And within the video, the woman is demeaning men. But see, within their write-ups, they only call out my response to her demeaning statements. Now, most of us who are familiar with this content, we would know that he- And I watched that video and uh, I know what he's talking about. They're intentionally misrepresenting his point and uh, what he was, he was talking about. They don't look at her behavior and say that it's deplorable, but they, they're using his behavior. And uh, that is one of the double standards that we're talking about. And when you speak about those, it freaking you get targeted by various people that do not want you to speak about it so what it is what um i predict that um most people are going to like consume the content gain the knowledge that they need to avoid and stay away from people like this you're going to well i'm not sure you know if you're good i'm not i'm not sure if you're going to see the shift but they're intentionally trying to silence people trying to spread the message or, or the truth about certain dynamics when it pertains men and women. And I'm not here to say that 
throw the whole thing away. I'm here to say that there are horrible people on both sides. It's just that they are overrepresenting the situation, making it seem that it is all of one particular side. That particular side happens to be men. And um, because of that, you've seen the, the shift uh, and you've seen how the treatment of men has been, has been ever since uh, in recent years. Yo, yo, whenever you wanted to date someone, you, you could freaking um, um, try to strike up a conversation naturally. But nowadays you can't even approach her, you know. And um, dating, dating apps have gotten so, um, so uh, uh, absurd right now. Everyone on dating apps is just looking for a quick, relationship you know a, a quick um session and uh on to the next so no one is looking for anything long term so actually right now what can people do to, to 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 get a date what what can they do to if they're trying to date with intent to getting ma get married the dating app is um seen is not work working where you can actually try to um get to know someone beforehand before meeting up with them which is the safest route you 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 could normally take but with the dating app, dating apps becoming trash, what actually you do? You can't meet them. You can't go with in person. Um, if you were still school age, um, you could have uh, meet people in school, and that could work for you. But um, you can't. You, you you should not look at anyone in the gym. That is a situation for disaster with um people even misrepresenting uh um men and calling them gym creeps and stuff like that. Where there are creeps, I'm not trying to say that they are not, but People intentionally misrepresent situations like that. You can't just, uh, you can't um, deal with someone at work because that is a legal nightmare for the workplace. And they can, if the situation goes, um, goes south, you can say that, they can say that you were in a position of power and you took advantage of her and stuff like that. These are just stuff that you, that you can avoid. So when people ask, how do we go about um, making genuine connections to, to, to freaking one day settle down with this person that I decide to share the rest of my life with. How are they, how do they move forward? That is a question to, uh, that no one has the answer for, at least not currently. Because right now, you see, unless people are planning mixers or are freaking going on like using dating services nowadays, and I don't even think that even that's even going to work. But that's I feel like that's the only uh, avenue most people have right now, and it's sad. But yeah, guys, let's continue. He is definitely not over the top, at least for me. The guys like you know, fresh and fit, and just pearly on the list, and Andrew Tate, absolutely. MTR, not so much. I don't but see Tate. here's the one thing that MTR has, and that I don't see Tate on that anywhere. He should be. Even him should be all the way up the, uh, at the top because of how he is not the correct messenger for the for the message that should benefit man. He speaks he speaks some truth, but damn, no one wants to hear it from him. And that's um th that's what I'm telling you. The messenger matters. I'm telling you. That's that many of us don't have in Black YouTube because of his ability and talent. He has a diverse base. What that means Black is YouTube. because of the kind of content that he makes and his relatability, more people worldwide watch. Just like. I Wait, 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 yes, yes. More people worldwide watch, so he has a more diverse audience. But um, that term, black YouTube, is there such a thing as black YouTube? I know that there are YouTube for different countries. Like, uh, like YouTube literally puts uh, uh, a few letters at the end of the uh, at the end of it, their logo to uh, disseminate which uh, um, region it's in or which country it's in. But black YouTube, first, that's a first for me. Auburn preach. They are also black creators, but they have an international multicultural reach. Unlike my black ass, which only gets to the black YouTube community. Can I get a ooh sound effect? <laughs> but here's something that we need to know that what people are trying to do is silence men. Even those men who have True. a fair position and a fair take on what's going on in the world. True. I've never True. heard of anybody considering him to be a woman hater, a female basher or anything. This content is not like that. But here's what's happening, guys. You need to understand the world is changing and they're trying to change it by 2030. What does it mean? Well, how, what? This is the first I'm hearing about. Is it? Okay, let, let, let's see what he has to say. The United Nations and many other people want to put women ahead over men. 
And if you're a guy that's talking some truth about relationships when it comes to women, they are trying to silence you. And they're trying to silence a lot of guys doing that. And that's why you don't see the red pill as strong anymore on YouTube. Remember some of the guys in the MGTOW community? Those guys are gone. A lot okay, so it's a, it's, a, it's a freaking major push across the board. Of, uh, uh, um, so, okay, okay. I'm, I'm not sure about that. I, if anyone has more information, they can link it to me in the, in the comments. But I know that we talk about they and that they are doing stuff and that they are like changing things or you don't want to upset them or who they are and stuff like that. But this might be the first instance of, 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 of they are them being, um, being, um, categorized or having a, uh, a name put, put on them. The United Nations are trying to freaking push an agenda to freaking put women in power by 2030. Okay. I'm, uh, I'm going to keep this in the back of my mind and like, watch and see how things change and then see, come back to it a few years later, if anything, and see what's going on. A lot of the dating coaches have gone. A lot of the guys who really have been talking about the real truths about women have gone. And the reason why they're gone is because it's considered hate speech. Now, even some of the guys in my old Damn. community, the black manosphere. So talking about, talking about disparaging men and, 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 and talking about, all of these stuff isn't considered a hate speech on, on men. Oh, because we're men. And uh, they, they, they're trying to insinuate that we are the ones that, um, that spew hate, not receive it. Okay. Are gone too. The reality is, is that the content that men are going to have to accept now is that of really ignoring women and getting away from them when you see toxic traits. That's sure. how it's working. They That's want true. to silence men from everything in the YouTube space, in the content creator space. And luckily a guy like me, I'm in the celebrity niche and I love dragging celebrities, but this is what is happening. And men need to understand that. This is also gonna be more evident at your jobs. There's gonna be more evident around the world. Even I'm seeing things happening in Africa that I don't wanna talk about right now that were not here five years ago. You can use your imagination. Here's what men need to start to do. Instead of being so critical of how we feel about certain things or certain individuals, what we need to start to do is to work together to do what? I'll tell you what, to avoid what you don't like. The best thing that men can do is to understand that you must speak with your wallet and with your feet. No longer. Okay, don't, don't, um, don't put your money in anything that you do not agree with. And uh, if you're hearing nonsense, you walk away. Yeah. Is it a great career to really come out with the red pill stuff like it used to be? I mean, look at Fresh and Fit. Fresh and Fit and guys like that actually hurt the red pill community more yes. than they helped it. Now, it would've yes. been okay if they had the OnlyFans girl. That, the, this, this horrible situation. I'm telling you, these people are not representative of anything to help men. If if anything, they did things to hurt the, the, um, the, the, what men are trying to say and, and, what, and the message that they are trying to point out. Girls in there and they wouldn't kick them out and call them the B word. And that freaking platforming verified supremacists, like, like racist supremacists. That, I, I'm not going to say the dude's name because that, that dude's name is probably watched by YouTube's bots. So, yeah. Bert. But they did, they made it a lot worse for a lot of content creators. And then I'm gonna tell you something else that happened. A lot of content creators in the red pill community turn ultra, ultra right wing or white wing conservative, ultra. A lot of those dudes turn ultra conservative, damn near racist. I'm talking about borderline Nick Fuentes interviews. Uh, yo, and that's his name, I'm gonna I'm have to edit that out just a little bit, just so you can hear the name and uh, not trigger YouTube's bots if I can. Collaborations with just pearly things, fresh and fit. Also collaborating with people that were banned from the platform or that had, you know, particular criminal investigations like Andrew Tate, it made it all worse. And some of the guys in the manosphere were so concerned about the money grab 
they forgot about the community in the mid. They, they, they do not. They, they're not. They're not here for the cause to genuinely help, and they're here for the cash grab, which is called grifting. That is what a grift is. You, you put on the mask or the costume of a cause, and go theoretically and fervently supporting it, and then, you know. Rip, reaping the, the money that comes with it because there's a lot of money in it to be honest but the reason why I didn't choose to go that route because I want to have more freedom in the content I choose to bring that is why you're seeing this and uh, which is why you see me bring various different type of topics and content that I might react to I might make a, a video about that is not a reaction if I can and uh Something things that I feel like necessarily needs more attention, I try to like spread it a little bit to what little viewers or what little subscribers that I have. Yeah, until I get more, you know, because we grinding, we getting big. <laughs> men and how it would impact them. A lot of parts of the red pill became worse for men, not better. It just made things worse because some of the creators agreed in the community. This is not MTR. He got caught in the crossfire, right? And I honestly believe yeah, that yeah, him that. collaborating with just pearly things is, is probably what may have put him on the wrong radar. That's just how. Yes, that put him on the wrong spotlight because she is the crazy person that is spouting things that like, like women should not vote and, and stuff like that. And uh, like, you should take away that. And yeah, we should get rid of um, birth control. And uh, look, she says it like that on purpose because when people hear her or hear her saying that stuff she gets hate click and hate views yes so it brings more eyes to her to her to her, her her content and stuff like that right now um what she's really talking about is freedom without responsibility like you have the freedom and the and the right to vote but yes men have to literally um, sign up for the draft. But no one actually wants a, a female soldier on the, on the front lines when men are bigger, faster, stronger, you know, like biologically. And um, then the freaking birth control angle is that um, when both two consenting adults, adults go and do the deed, uh, if, okay, if the woman decides not to keep the child, she can do that without any input from the man. And he was a part of the situation. If he wants to keep keep the child, uh, he was going to support it. Um, he doesn't have any any say in it because it's her body, her choice. But if he doesn't want it, and she wants the kid, he's on the hook for child support for freaking eighteen years, and has no say in it again. Cause, yeah, they both made the choice to say to lay down. But whenever the important decisions are to be made. Whenever um, the male is opposed to it or for or if the woman says that she is a, she doesn't agree with anything he says, he his opinion and his um choices are invalid. Doesn't matter, and uh, that's that. That's another unfair double standard. But um, there's a lot of nuance, nuance, and a lot more. Um, and it's a lot broader issue. I just very simplified, simple, uh, I simplified it down a lot. So there's going to be a lot of people in the comments telling me that you don't know what the hell you're talking about. But it's just a simple explanation of, this, of a much um, more complex issue. Oh, yeah. Um, let the comments ensue. You know, I'm just, uh, they, they, they want to talk and they're not going to actually be open to another perspective or think of, on what I said <laughs> because they, they, they already made up their minds and have their bias how it can happen although it's bs and we all know it we should understand what is going on in the world how people view the world and as men we need to be cognizant of that so guys what do you think it's your boy o'shea duke jackson back at it again with another episode of the celebrity drunk okay okay that's it that, that's it but yeah people let me know what you think of the video and first of all and um, first off thank you for watching the video all the way if you if you did watch it because I know a lot of people are going to be upset about the, the topic that I, choose, that, that I chose to react to, you know. <laughs> but it's really getting scary for men out there.
if you're trying to like make men aware of the things that are disadvantageous to them um in society whether legal or social or within the dating scene you are seen as the enemy and they will try to stop you they will try to silence you i'm telling you people it's crazy it's crazy it's getting harder and harder to be a man but most people wouldn't have it any other way but yeah this wolf this was a different type of video i know that a lot not a lot of people are gonna jive with it but it's it needed to be made so i'll see you in the next one you know this wolf i'm streaming on twitch playing some assassin's creed goes up to streamer is next you know come to the twitch if you want to shout out me in the chat you know all of them stuff yeah i'll see you in the next one peace out you take your mask let's get this let's get this i'm gonna be back with the the knox versus school face um debacle another time yeah